Hello, beautiful souls. I'm Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master. I'm also a channel for the divine. And this will be take two. <laughs> I just recorded a beautiful uh, message for Divine Feminine, and it was so dark. I'm trying to get my lighting good. It's raining outside, so... We'll see if the same cards come out, then that's the message that needs to come. So, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I'm so happy that, you know, all planets are now direct. Woohoo! We still have a couple of weeks of shadow with um, Mercury, but it's, you know. Okay, so, not the same story. <laughs> That's all right, then. Um, I get adjustments are required. This is going to be a third quarter moon. So, 122 on my clock. Adjustments are required. Um, maybe, I know, um, for me, it's been like, okay, I'm meant to be going in this direction, but this isn't quite working or going uh, the way I feel it is. So I'm having to tweak things as I go. Um, you're really being encouraged to continue 144, continue tweaking, continue going, okay, this is the direction, but maybe this isn't working. So I'm gonna adjust a little bit here to continue going in the direction that I'm wanting to go towards. Now we have full support with the planets. Okay, so this is going to be important to find those key things that need to be tweaked in order to continue moving forward. And then I get right smack dab in the middle. Be bold and make the first move. And this is a cardinal moon. Now, for me as a feminine, 222 on my clock, for me as a feminine, being bold and making the first move with any man makes me really uncomfortable right that makes me uncomfortable so if you're watching this for love and this is something that resonates with you do it go for it okay uh, for me seeing this it brings up a lot of anxiety a lot of hesitation a lot of this goes against my natural way of doing things because I embody so much Venus energy you know, it makes me uncomfortable, which could be, you know, something that needs to be released. It could be connected to fear of rejection, fear of, you know, the feelings not be reciprocated, the fear 313 on my clock. Um, what if I do this and I fall like flat on my face, you know? There could be a lot of things coming up with um, being bold, making the first move. Now what's holding all of this up is going to be communication is key. And this is going to be the new moon in Gemini. So there's a lot of communication that's taking place. There's a lot of communication that's happening in dreams. There's a lot of communication that's happening in the 5D. Okay. Um, I have been extremely active in my dreams and in meeting with a lot of the people here uh, that went to meet with the Leo King. Uh, 414 on my clock. I did find a common denominator that some of us were actually in the dreams together, which was pretty cool, right? So start paying attention to your dreams. Start paying attention to songs, um, animals that's showing up. There's a lot of communication that's happening in the 3D that we might not be seeing at the moment. Let's see what's going on in the heart. Star scene. <laughs> it's 
Trust the Niggle, Transformation, and then Anna, Grandmother of Jesus. So, <clears throat> Starseed, what lights you up? And I think it's kind of funny that my last um, video, the light was bad and I was extremely dark in it, right? I'm like, I can't post this. Oh my gosh, I, I, like, it's very, very dark, right? So I had to stop and, and reevaluate all the lighting. Um, one of the biggest things that has really been an aha for me, especially over the last six weeks, is you can tell when I'm not happy. <laughs> You see it all over me, right? And when I'm happy, I know I'm living fully within 555 five, five, clock. I'm living fully within my heart. When I live fully within my heart, that's when I shine the brightest, right? Trust the niggle. What's that niggling feeling trying to tell you? Okay. We've been getting a lot of information from our guides. We've been getting a lot of downloads about, you know, our next steps, the next part of the journey, um, hearing the trumpets, right? Are you trusting your intuition? Are you trusting where you're being led? Are you trusting the journey and knowing that Every step has already been planned out. Like, and then I get transformation. This card actually did show up in the last one. Um, things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. Definitely feel that Pluto has gone through and really like Mercury too. It's like, okay. What needs to be removed? What's working? What's not working? Let's burn it away, Phoenix, right? 717, let's burn it away so new can start coming in, so new foundations can be laid, so healing can start taking place. And then what's holding all of this up? It's going to be Anna, grandmother of Jesus, Seeding the light, laying the foundations. This is all part of the divine plan. Now, this is divinely guided, divinely orchestrated. You know, are you going to take the leap of faith? Are you going to trust your intuition and where you're being led? Um, are you going to be bold and fearless and do things that haven't been done before? Or are you going to hold on to that fear? Because as we get closer to this Leo full moon, um, it's going to be very important that we nail down what are those fears? What are those things that's holding us back in order to go to the next level? Those are the adjustments that need to be made. Fully living from our heart space, fully living from love, fully living from a place of what sets you on fire, right? It sets me on fire to, to be able to connect with others like me that, that do the same work as, as me and to be able to share our stories and share what works, share what doesn't work for us. Um, our journeys, like, that's huge, you know, this has been a pretty long journey for me, and it's absolutely perfect that I'm here right now at Kristen's, you know, because this is, you know, what the whole trip to California was all about on 9-11. You know, healing me, healing the warrior in me, right? Healing, finding peace. Oh, this one never shows up. Oh, okay, so I get Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide. Okay, things are going to be provided for. 
You may not see what's happening behind the scenes, but you've got to trust and believe that. Um, you have support, 10 on 1 o'clock, you have support behind you, right? This is a 10 card that's also cycles completing, new beginnings protected by God. And then right here in this now moment, I get Dove Spirit, be at peace. This is a 21 that breaks down to a 3. Uh, be at peace, 10, 23 on my clock. Peace is the highest vibration that we can hold. Be at peace with the journey. Be at peace with your intuition. Be at peace with the deep knowing within of where you're meant to be and what you're meant to be doing. Be at peace with the direction, 10, 44 on my clock, with the direction that God is leading you. Be at peace with all of it. So I get land, air, water. Bring your ideas to light. So this is the electric eel spirit. And this is a 24, 11, 11 on the clock. This is a 24 that breaks down to a 6. Okay, so there's definitely um, a lot of things that are being brought to light. There's a lot of things that are 11-22, 11-23. There's a lot of things that are being born. There was a lot of seeds planted. There's been a lot of seeds planted um, over the last year. And sometimes that's the hardest part of working with the moon, um, healing with the moon, is allowing for the seeds to grow right now what's holding this up is going to be a parrot it's a 45 card and it says watch your words okay this is a 9 1202 this is a 9 card so cycles have completed we are now um, starting with new beginnings. What's under that is make your dreams real. This is a 56, which breaks down to an 11. And this is spider spirit. Okay, so things are coming together. 12, 22, 12, 23. Magic works through you. Here's a 7. And then I get a 22. Truth transcends illusion. Dragonfly. <clears throat> We're definitely having um, throat chakra clearings are still taking place. Uh, the more that we speak our truth, we be our truth, we live our truth, the more that the chakra is going to be flowing, uh, releasing any energy that needs to be released so more light can come in and fill that area up. As always, I ask Metatron to... Activate his cue to help clean and release any remains, residuals in the, the throat chakra. Um, the last reading I did, there was a lot of emphasis on the heart. So it definitely feels like the energy is moving. It's being released. Um, listen that is part of of that throat chakra is learning when to keep your mouth shut when to listen right we strengthen this chakra by strengthening our ears and listening and holding space when we need to The word listen contains the same letters as the word silent. Many people claim to be good listeners, yet fail to possess the in it, innate <laughs> Ding. ability to really listen. People often take an active role in listening to one another adding comments, remarks, opinions, and expressions of reaction to whatever they are hearing. 
True listening goes beyond that which can be. Okay, this is a 99. It's on page 99. Heard with your ears. Listen for the subtle nuisance. Consider the pauses and the thoughtful stares. The wistful glaze. Listen with your heart. Hear the words. And allow them to evoke within you a response that gives rise to empathy and compassion. Allow others to really feel that they are being heard. Suppress any urges you have to comment or pass judgment. Allow the story to come forth unusually by the lens through which you see the world. The more you listen, the more you will learn. And it's so true, 1555. My light. Attentive, aware, open, willing, my shadow, close, obtuse, and narrow-minded. My sacred words. I realize that the most important words are the ones that are unspoken. It's so true. Definitely have more emphasis on the third chakra, okay? And then understanding. I want everyone to know you don't have to find... I want everyone to know you don't have to find out you're dying to start living. The passing of time asks you to think about the, fra the fragility of life. You may feel as though you keep chasing that, and this is on page 123. Next big thing, telling yourself, my life will be better when. No matter how many of those things you achieve, you still lack the happiness you are seeking. It's easy while chasing those big things to forget about those little things that make up your day-to-day -day life. It's just as important to find joy in the small details that make up each day as it is to recognize your greater achievements. Close your eyes and feel your heart beating as your breath comes and goes like the ocean waves upon the shore. Smell a flower and drink the scent in so deeply that you can feel its energy from head to toe. Hold the hand of a loved one and notice the rough and smooth, knowing that every texture tells the story of their life. Existence as you know it can change so quickly and unexpectedly that those big things you once chased suddenly seem insignificant. Understand that life will always be about the little things and that you often forget to notice that no one can take them away from you. My light. Notice, consent, accept, recognize my shadow, reject, ignore, deny my sacred words. I move towards each new day with a grateful heart and a courageous spirit and a desire to touch the lives of everyone I meet. This is also going to be connected to the throat chakra. So continue holding love. Let your words pass through three gates. Is it true? Is it necessary? And is it kind? Okay. Practice listening. Listening's just as important as speaking. Everyone thinks speaking is clearing your throat chakra, but in reality, listening is also another way that we strengthen that throat chakra, right? So I love you guys. If you want to schedule a reading with me, my website's below, and I'll see you soon. Bye.